Hello there, this is the Misanthropic Lord, and welcome to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines! Ah, ah, ah! This is a game that came out in 2004, and is still regarded as one of the best vampire-based RPGs there is out there on the market. Which, if you've been looking around, there's actually not many vampire RPGs out there. Blood Rain? Is that an RPG? It's more action. Action adventure, I'd, I'd say. Um, and I know what I'm gonna go for for this playthrough. I just, this is a game that I play every once in a while, just because it, it's a game that once you hear about it, you reinstall it and play it for yourself. And when it first came out in 2004, it had a lot of issues, it had a lot of bugs, and a couple that were completely game crashing. What you're seeing right now is actually the unofficial patched version of it. And I was able to get it up to uh, four times, 4x, you know, 3280 by 2160, I think is what it is. I think I completely botched that. Eh, never mind. Anyway, so for this playthrough, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be playing. Um, uh, so I've already played through the game with nearly every different type of race and class well I guess here it's clans not so much class but as you can see all of these different clans have uh, different skills and subsets of skills that they can use for this one I'm gonna be playing the one I haven't played yet which is basically their blood mages like uh, thaumaturgy I believe is how, what you uh, what you call it and they basically boil people's blood from the inside to make them explode into terrible gouts of arterial fire and blood which is always fun you know that's always a good way to go uh, and we are going to just uh, kind of collect a little bit of skill sets right here we're gonna make her be a scholar who's uh, kind of stealthy kind of dodgy and good uh, all right at subterfuge uh, and Kind of min max in here just to see what I can do. We'll get, yeah, perception and wits is a good melange of skills for this character. What I'm so this character, she's a grad student, you know, she met a guy at a party and she doesn't like to go out very often, but you know, one thing leads to another and he's like super good looking and he he knows how to quote like Faust and that sort of thing. So intellectually and body type, it's all there. I want to show you something. Oh dear. <laughs> that big, huh? Yikes. <laughs> so, uh, this is you getting the dubious honor of uh, becoming a vampire. Congrats. You are a vampire. You, uh, you, th you thought something else was going to happen, but now it's, uh, yeah. No more early mornings for you. <laughs> Hope you like uh, 24 hour convenience stores and studying late at night. That's a pretty cool tattoo on her arm, actually. <laughs> He's like, Yep, what up? And then these guys come in and kill you. And that's the end of the game. Kind of a. It was one of those things where it was very controversial at the time to make the game end right here. Oh, oh that's right. My apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagement. I, I just noticed that there were no subtitles, so uh, I'm going to turn them on, and then... There we go. See? And those tiny subtitles in the corner are what we're looking at. The affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince... <laughs> See, when you're a vampire, you can go out and stuff like that, and no one says a thing. The privilege of siren. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. I, I'm at least 27. It me to announce the sentence as... Up to tonight, I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the 
penalty for this transgression is death. Harsh. <laughs> know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. If you haven't called him out on it yet, <laughs> Let the penalty this is a uh, this is a huge douchebag, and he's also in charge of the ruling clan for Los Angeles, I believe. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! I, I like that, uh, it's like, well, no one, no one could bother to teach her, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna do away with her. It's fine. If Mr. Rodriguez like, are they flush with vampires this season? To let this there we go. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings. And I hope their significance is not... Good evening. Your sire, tragic. My apologies. But you see... There is a strict code of conduct that all of us must, must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone breaks these laws... I don't understand why they did those fade cuts there. Nothing happened. <laughs> they didn't move. They didn't go to a different area. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So, what I'm offering is not generosity. But the opportunity <laughs> I love my character. She's just like, what up? I'm a vampire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. Mercutio? There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Yeah, thanks for not killing me. You're a real, you're a real bro. Good evening. Appreciate it. All right, and then you get into the game portion of this game. For this, uh, for this little playthrough, I'm actually gonna go through the tutorial. And uh, as soon as I find the tutorial, I kind of, I kind of forget how everything is mapped out at the start here. Uh, here, we're gonna start feeding on on some poor asshole. Well, no, we're not gonna feed on the the ass. I mean, we're gonna shut up. What is he doing here? It's like, hello, I was just... Now, a big part of this game is humanity. You don't want to kill people. Which, I know that's, you know that sounds weird for a vampire game, but you're trying, to, you're trying to hold on to as much humanity as you possibly can have. So it's actually a good thing. Ah, here he is. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've that, that sounds good. I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your high school train life story. Okay. Till then, I got about this much time to wear around. I mean, I I could use some help. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, man, we're I've I've already broken the game. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Gasp. F bombs already. It's never as sweet as the first time. <laughs> and it's like my character my character is so shy that she's just like, Oh shoot, I, I already did it, but I don't I don't want him to think that I, I haven't, I've done it already. He's already gone through his, like this entire spiel and everything, and I, I don't want to disappoint him by by 
telling him I already I already did it. So I, I, shoot, I guess I have to do it again and then uh, then then pretend like it's the first time I did it. Yep, I'm uh, I'm going to uh, to do the blood thing now. Oop, yep, I already did it. <laughs> so, yeah, this game was kind of infamous for these type of <laughs> these type of bugs. But it's fine. It's okay. Great! When do I get my cape? Do I get to pick the color? There's more! <laughs> it's our word. Uh, you can't use that word. That's our word. I'm gonna uh, live forever. <laughs> I love it. I love it. There's like a gang war erupting and that guy is still in the alleyway smoking like just like kind of woozy like oh, oh, oh Didn't even get a cookie after all that blood loss poor guy <laughs> All right So time to do vampire like things and jump onto things There we go that uh, uh. I, I swear it's fine. It's fine. The controls in this game are great. They haven't aged a bit. Uh, your feats are the combinations of various abilities and tributes. The higher your feat scores, the better you are activities they influence. Inspection is a feat. That's why those little blue thingies were coming off of the thing. That lockpick. It means I inspected it. And because I have super vampire inspection powers, little blue sprites twinkle from things that I are... Necessary for plot devices. <laughs> it's actually pretty, pretty uh, intuitive. It makes things a lot easier, you know, when you're when you're going through and trying to find stuff. Okay, so I'm, I think I need to get to this door. So I'll, I'll move this. Look at that. Look at those physics and work. No. <laughs> Look at those physics and work. I say again. And where do I? Oh, there's there's an opening over here. How how did you get here? Stay what the? the Was there an other? What? Oh, it's a spot spot. They're mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you need. Gotcha, to know, right? Roger. Mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, like raging savages. Nothing a fledgling like you want. Is fledgling a, a derogatory term? Like, should I be insulted that you guys are calling me fledgling? Or is it a term of endearment? I don't. <laughs> they, they didn't get the budget for voice acting for those guys, unfortunately. <laughs> They're like, eh. We're gonna kill him with spirit wolves anyway, so why not? Kiss of death. 
Dum dum dum. Hey there. <laughs> and that's it. That's all that happens. Dumb. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. I'm on it. Uh, the quest log contains information about your quest, as well as any notes. That sounds great. <laughs> so, yeah, we're kind of in the tutorial mode of this right now. And I just want to highlight the fact that this game came out 12 years ago. And there are things that have held up very well and there are there are things that have uh, not held up as if you were just gonna break the window why'd you ask me to pick lock the door fine well I'm gonna close the door I mean as a graduate oh, student you know sometimes you have to knock in a few heads I still got that list of people from high school. It's the same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. And it's, <laughs> and it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. Voice acting for, for one. Secret that's secret one thing that's held up really well. Great voice acting for the most part. Cell phone cameras. Fuck ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough. It ain't a casual thing for a fledgling like you. What do you mean? What else could happen? That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. Does, they make a does that make him a Camarilla Magilla Gorilla? <laughs> I'm so stupid. Uh, they're like the vampire good guys. Yes. That's correct. All right, so what's next? All right, now don't worry, because I know the area a little. And you know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. You do what you gotta do. Theft, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look around here. You gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key somewhere. Must be. I will find this key, and then I will come back with it to open up the door. Okay, all right. Security areas breaking the masquerade can carry dire consequences, such as the unwanted attention of vampire hunters. I've never broken the masquerade, actually. Whenever I played this game, I always play it legit. So, I'm actually kind of interested to know what vampires would be like. I mean, like vampire hunters would, would be like when they come and hunt you. That actually sounds kind of cool. It's hacking. Hacking. So just like in real life, you just press Control c to hack. And then, uh, and then after that, you, uh, you hack. Like real hacking. With hack stuff. Chop shop. Uh, that doesn't seem like a very good password for a chop shot. <laughs> the random one voice whooping. Good. When you approach it, continue, you see the use icon. Press the use icon to open it. Good. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Aha! Ace. There we go. Now take that key card and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm going to check out. Yeah, it seems like you can handle yourself pretty well. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do my thing, you do your thing, and we'll meet up at some point in time, probably. Oh, okay, good. Good. I'm glad that I used my hacking skill for a password that was literally posted on the wall. Good. You posted the password chop shop on that that didn't make any sense. Wow, that guy can't even afford the muzzle flash for his gun. Great stuff. Great stuff. Oh no, I've been wounded by the Sabbat! If your health bar turns yellow, it means you have sustained aggravated damage. Oh no, that means it takes longer to heal! Oh, I want that gun. 
damn it. Uh, let's see. I can drink blood to heal. I remember that. Doesn't isn't there like a healing th power I have? Fucking waste of unlife, you sabat blackos. Do you get a wing? Hey, hey, look at them potholes. Those will close up soon enough. Better feed though. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. Not the freshest catch, but it'll do. Blood, blood, right? Now, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not the quantity. Bums and low life don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well bred human will. Wow. <laughs> bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. But you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD kid? So they're saying that stuff. people's blood Remember are I actually said, no, better? <laughs> the. the like the no better a human being you are that's actually kind of controversial <laughs> i guess vampires don't care an innocence an innocent you kill one even even worthless bums if you kill them you feel bad about yourself the beast it's always there waiting to take over when it does it's like a wild animal wearing your skin Desperate, scared, reckless. He'll do anything to survive, and it's you that has to deal with the consequences. So I can't kill anyone? That seems a little uh, restricting. I, I, I said innocent humans. If some asshole leveled a 12 gauge your way, you drain him, skin him, and bash in his skull. Self preservation <laughs> is a vital part of humanity, after all. My big part, in fact. <laughs> Great voice acting. The only way to fight the beast is to keep in touch with your humanity. Don't go hungry. It's a fine line. All right, now go feed. Careful, though. He's going to drain fast. Back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. <laughs> Remember, you want to avoid draining your victims. Draining innocent humans will give a penalty your, to your humanity. The lower your humanity, the closer you get to the beast. Hey there. How you doing? <laughs> I love that he's just standing. He's just standing in a, in an empty. Uh, what is that even for? Like, eh, never mind. Scarf tasted like old I gym socks. Rats can be fed upon to gain a single blood point. You will find some rats at the other end of the alley, near Yellow Town thingies. Fuck. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna eat some rats with my vampire teeth. Gonna take some rats. Nom nom. Ugh, that'd be disgusting. Although, I, I guess you don't get diseases as a vampire, so... It doesn't really matter. Just, ugh. That t Someone around the way here. Just one guy? Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. You're gonna have to sneak I can sneak. Past. The building across from us with the garage door. There's some double doors on the Dumble doors? Side. I'll meet you inside. Just stay low and stick to the shadows and don't let him see you. Alright, go. Now technically I guess this could exist in the Harry Potter universe. I mean creatures of the night exist in Harry Potter. So maybe these two worlds exist in the same timeline. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay, I remember this. So basically green is good for the sneaky sneak. So that's what we're going to do is try to sneak a leak around this freak and then we'll seek something meek Greek. Oh, never mind. Uh-oh. Oh, oh do you see me? He saw me. You've been detected by your enemy. Try again, remembering to crouch. Oh, it automatically. Okay. I can do this. This is fine. I'm super, super stealthorific. So, stay to the shadows. Is he gonna stick over there? Is he gonna stick to the corner? Over there? 
He's looking right at me. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go around the car again. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh. Okay, but I'm still green. I should be. Damn it! Ow. Thanks. Thanks for that. Alright. I got it this time. Channeling my inner shadow. Damn it! I am. Hey, what? My health still still goes still is down. This is an alternate universe. Why is my health down? I remember this part sucking too. <laughs> I swear, I know how to play this game, guys. It's fine. Huh? Nope. 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 No. No. Huh? Stay away. Sabat. Yeah, okay. Good. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Yes. Victory is mine. Keep it quiet. They're inside here. Seems that shovelhead outside just got separated from his pack. He's wounded, too. Go take care of him. Don't worry. He's probably green. Take care of him? Uh, okay. Um, so I'll I'll go ahead and get some bandages and maybe, uh, maybe some morphine. That poor sod is lucky if he knows he's a vampire. How... How would he not know he's a vampire? He's probably just turned and beaten over the head. They like to do that, make shock troops, cannon fodder, put him out of his misery. He is a vampire, so be ready. Go get him. Make him some hot chocolate or some tea. Ooh, I'm I'm going fisto a uh, fisto to him. Okay. Time to introduce you to Hale and Mary. <laughs> Uh, low energy today. Low energy. I need to take a nap or something after this. Did it? Did it? Did it? Ooh, ooh, ooh! I can just do a instant takedown. Oh, oh, savage! I did it like it was nothing. That was cold. That was cold-blooded killing right there. Just snapping necks. Stepping necks, breaking skulls. Sneak a leak. Hey, hey, I did the thing. Sounds like you got another pack moving in, though. The Savant are going all out. You better head underground, avoid stray bullets. All right, can I, down into the basement can I take the stray right bullets in? Keep that tighter, or or at least I'll be there in a minute. take the bullets to like a, a, a bullet sanctuary where they can find loving homes? <laughs> stray bullets? Eh? Anyone? No? I don't blame you at all. Not at all. Okay. Still kind of the tutorial, but I think this is where I get used to my... Oh. Ah. This is to show me that I can stealth kill things, although I already did that. But stealth killing is super cool, so we're also going to do it for this one, too. Or at least attempt to. <laughs> shh. 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 Yeah. Go back to hell. Not sure what's going on. Whoa, dude. Like you can't scattered. you can't sneak up on me like that. Be careful going forward here. Could be a whole mess of them hold up. Good. There we go. Okay, and now it's going to teach me about my vampire powers. Uh, strength blood buff is a discipline that is common to all vampire. It gives you a temporary bonus to all your skills. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll go ahead and do that one. Can I do it without the blood buff though? Huh? Nope. Okay, I need to I need to do the thing then. There we go. Aha! And suddenly I'm better at lock picking. I'm guessing cuz I I'm better at all skills. Uh, Thaumaturgy, Auspects, and Dominate. Auspects gives you the ability to see people's auras. The aura color indicates an individual expression. There's a god in the next room. Use Auspects to see his aura. Okay. I will do that. Am I just pronouncing that correctly? Auspects? Auspects. There we go. Gotcha. 
Uh, oh, oh, I was nearly there. <laughs> well, at least I can bash him over the head with this tire iron, like a like a, a trucker going through a divorce. Okay, good. Glad I got through that harrowing combat section. I'll meet you over there. Don't let him catch you. I won't. If I'm not there in ten minutes, call the president. President George W. Bush. Thaumaturgy is a sorcery that can bend blood. Yeah. Bloodbender. Ooh, a bloodbender. That's basically what it is, I guess. I can get behind that. Ha! <laughs> and then he just... Goes back to hell like it's uh, like it's nothing. He's just like, well, time for me to go. No bones about it. Going all pappy and zanzy. Dominates the vampiric power to bend others to your will. Let's go ahead and uh, try it. Let's try it. Let's do it. Let's do the thing. Let's see, trans. Wum. Oh, oh, hello. There's two of them. Uh, I'll, mm, there's two of them. Am I supposed to do both of them? Because I don't know if I can have two dominated at the same time, game. But I will try. Let's see. Wum. And wait for this one to reload. There we go. And... Get around. Wum. There we go. And everything should be okay. Oh, he's. Oh, come on. I wasn't detected. I was still fine. Stupid game and stupid not working right, and and bugs and and the stuff it does. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. And. Bingo, bango. When you pick up an object and throw it, you will see this use icon. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can also make noises, and it and the people are like, hey, what's this over here? And they go right up to it and then take a look at it for the next five minutes so you can get around them. Just like in real life. Here. Let's go ahead and... Huh? Yeah. Go get the tin can. Go get it. There you go. Good mindless shock trooping robot. Uh, mental. Ah. Oh, hey, ah. hi. Fucking humans, gang bangers, protecting their turf. Oh man, I'm here thinking it's Sabat moving up in here. It's a fucking local that's about to take one for the hood. <laughs> yeah, they probably seen too much. Here, take this 38. Fucking pea shooter, but a few shots in it will take down a human. Well, I'm gonna want it back, so don't go die and lose it. I don't use guns. They're noisy, they're clumsy, practically useless against vampires, but still, a kindred's got to keep up with the times. And in modern-day Los Angeles, that means coming strapped. Well, you know, some are more lethal than others, of course. Watch out for those shotguns. Ouch, those things can smart, I tell you. You hear, it here first. Out what's left of them. Can't have them running their mouths about any of this. I'm going to make sure there's no stragglers around outside. So I'm going to be straight up murdering actual people. That's a that's a tall rung to climb right there. I mean, yeah, I guess I I killed a couple of people, but they weren't really necessarily people. There's a bottle on the crate at the end of the hall. Well, there's actually several. Wow. Ooh. Ooh, man. You need to get some uh some more Time on the range there, buddy. <laughs> Just eat this rat. Nom nom. And, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, kill our fellow man. With, with weapons. <laughs> with, with actual guns. Just like vampires would. Hello. Killing floor. Hi there. How are you doing? 
My name is Lin Shi. And I'm here to take your soul. Freeze, mother- Uh, <laughs> uh. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Why didn't, why didn't I, why didn't, <laughs> Ace, man. I don't know what freaky stuff you're up to. <laughs> The other guy's just like, oh, Jesus! Oh, no! <laughs> At least that's what I would say. Oh, I can't. <laughs> you shot him in the face and he screams like I shot him in the knee. Good. Ah, uh, I forgot. I forgot how good this game was. Hi! That's it, kiddo. Just like that, and it's all over. Everyone slinks back to their corners of the city for the night. That's it? It's, it's all over? Night when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back. Barry Dodge spinning all that, and so on, and so on, and so on. And so forth, and forthwith. Well, to be honest, we came at a, well, an interesting time, let's say. That means a shitty time. Camarilla to Sabat. Now, in L.A., these are the new kids on the block. There's already like the band? kindred had stakes down in California long before them. Now, we got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there, a lot of fear, a lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. <laughs> You're losing me here, Jack. Oh, boy. Oh, I think they're looking for you outside. Guess you've got a cab to catch. I was hoping to fill you in on a little bit more, but, ah, oh, hell, you'll figure it all out. Yeah, I'm pretty smart with my thought brains. Stop in at the last round. Wait, where'd the bodies go? You've received two experience points. Thanks! Wow, I appreciate that game. Prince Lacroix has arranged for you to use a Camarilla safe house in Santa Monica. Santa Monica is a really nice place, too. This, uh, this apartment, not so much. And that is the tutorial of... Uh, Vampire Bloodlines, the Masquerade Bloodlines. Masquerade. Well, hey, the password for your computer is Sunrise! That's Mercurio. And I get a hundred bucks just for being a vampire. Caller. Everything's already coming up me. Look at this. Uh, pills freaking out. Yeah, and uh, that's it. That's kind of a first look on it, and uh, it shows off a little bit about the game. If you haven't played this game, I'm sure it's really cheap. I'm pretty sure it's also on Steam for a little bit. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to highlight this game. Okay, well, that's it for this episode. I know this is a little longer and more of the ramble jamble that I usually do, but if you like this game, hey, take a look at it. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, this is the Misanthropic Lord, signing off. Have a good one, guys. Ah. Ah, don't like that. Don't like that banging on the window. Okie dokie, so what's in the- Yeah, shit! You know what, game? If you're gonna be like that, I'm I'm just not gonna play you. Uh, what is this? Uh, the jumbled thoughts cloud your head as you study the empty bowl before you. Drops of liquid fall from the ceiling, splattering on the ground next to the bowl. The light from every drop is reflected in the bowl's rounded hollow, as if it hungers for that light. It needs to be filled. Yet the bowl remains dry. Another drop falls from the ceiling and splashes across the pylons, wasted. 